it's a it's an exact a repetition of history. What has happened before, it's happening again. And just like the Jewish people, are, they did not recognize what was going on in early stages. Now Christians are not recognizing that they're coming after them. They think if we're only going to be quiet and uh, obedient, they're going to let us live. But the history is teaching us that that's not the case. It's not going to happen. They're coming after you. It's time to rise up, stand up and open the churches. You see, Jesus said, do not forsake the gatherings of the saints. Do not forsake the gatherings of the saints. We have to rise up. We have to stand up or else. So this is the greatest time in a history, in a modern day history, for the church to start shining and being the light, being the salt of the, uh, of the earth. Um, so my answer to this is read the Bible and you will see Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego standing up. You will see Daniels and Joshua's and Caleb's and Esther's and Deborah's and the apostles standing up. In the chapter four book of Acts, they said we must obey God and chapter five rather than men. Uh, and this is the time where the church has to realize who are you working for? Who is your king? Is the governor is your king? Is the prime minister or president your king? You're working for him or you're working for God. If you're working for God, start reading the Bible. And the Bible is very clear. Uh, do not forsake the gatherings of the saints. Lay hands on the sick. Then the, the, they shall recover. Um, uh, you know, feed the poor. Take care of the orphans and the widow, widows. Go out there and be the light. The light cannot, you see light right now, they shut off the lights. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but you see, we are called to be the light. Light cannot hide. If you're hiding, you're not doing your job. You have to be the light. You have to be a visible light. You got to go out there because we have the truth. This is the greatest opportunity that the church has ever seen right now. People are depressed, they're suicidal, and the church's job, the pastor's mm. job is to do their job to go out there and save lives. But I got to really yeah. run. So God bless. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and take care of yourself and all the best. I mean, we're praying for you, buddy. Thank you. God bless. See you later.